Hi. In this video, we will be covering a few basic terminal commands. In Windows, instead of the terminal, we have the command prompt. So the first command is ls in Linux or dir in Windows. This command lists all the files and folders in the current directory. So observe these first two entries here. The first one, the dot, is the relative path from the current directory to itself, whereas the double dot is the relative path from the current directory to its parent directory. So let's just have a look at the next command, which is cd, which is used to change directory. So for example, cd Arduino. And you can see that the active directory has changed. Now, if I instead do cd dot, nothing changes because the dot is the relative path from the current directory to itself. Now if I do cd dot dot, I go back to the parent directory of that directory. Alright, so let's just go back. Now I wish to make a folder for module 1. To do that, I just have to use the mkdir command. And that's it. That's the three commands which I use most frequently in the terminal. ls or dir, cd and mkdir. Now we come to some basic commands of the vim editor. If you are not using vim, just skip this entire section. So the first command is to make a new file or to access an existing file, say vim followed by the file name. Alright, so let's just create an example. Now, Vim is not like other text editors. In other text editors, if you open a file, you immediately just start typing and somehow you save and you exit. Vim is different. Vim has two modes. There is one normal mode in which you can do various things. Uh, you can perform various actions, but you cannot insert text in the normal mode. If you want to insert text, you have to enter the insert mode. To enter the insert mode, just press I. Observe this right here. So if I just start typing. Okay, now I want to save this mess. To, the, uh, to do that, I have to exit the insert mode. To do that, just press escape and you go back from the insert mode to the normal mode. To save, once you're in the normal mode, just do colon W. Observe this right here. And do colon Q to exit. Now, nice thing about Vim is that you can concatenate commands to get your desired action. For instance, if I want to save and then immediately exit, I don't have to first do colon w and then colon q. I can just do colon wq. So with that, you know everything you need to, to be able to just about use Vim. However, I would strongly recommend that you go through the Vim tutor. All right. There are a lot of different commands in Vim. 
So if I go back to example, what I could do is I could type some more. I could undo that change. I can do that. I can change the indent level automatically. I can go to the end. I can delete an entire line and paste it at the bottom. There's a lot that you can do with Vim and a lot of it will help you in your journey through programming. However, to do that, you need to be familiar with the basic commands.